Next, let us go through the Sudoku for DFS algorithm along with our previous animation. So let us see the pseudocode. So DFS is a function name and uh, G comma B are the parameters, are arguments. So G basically represents the whole graph and V represents the starting node. So into the function, first label V has discovered. And then for all edges from V to W in G adjacent edges of V. So basically we are iterating the adjacent of V. And for every node in the iteration, we are checking if vertex W is not labeled as discovered, then we are again we recursively call the DFS function along with the same graph. And W means whichever the recently you know picked vertex. So let us see the same uh, pseudo code with our example. So in our case, first we choose A as our starting node. So now here we will carry A and then we are just labeling V as discovered, right? So we are just uh, saying this is a discovered or visited. And then we are just calling, we are doing this iteration for all edges from W to W, sorry, V to W in G comma adjacent edges of V. So basically we are iterating the child's of this A. So there's not just in what activities as we are just iterating. So here in the first iteration, what we are going to visit is B. So so here you are checking if vertex W is not labeled as discovered, then we are calling DFS right again. So basically this is where the first rule we are applying. If not discovered, again what we are going to do we are saying that we are calling this function this function again what it does it will bring bsv and label that as a discover so that means we just say this is discover and then again we are calling the for loop so from b we are just searching the adjacent so again first we are having e in the iteration so here we are checking whether w that means W carry C here, so W is not labeled a discoverer. Then this again the rule one, so of course it is not basically discovered. So again we are just recursively calling the DFS along with graph and W. W carries here E. So when this time when this, so here again, so he, when it comes here E will be discovered. So that means visitor, so we are just saying visitor. Again the follow loop happens here. So that just a node here we have H. So here that also not visitor as per rule. So when we apply rule one, so we have to visit. So again, we are calling DFS. So here W will carry H and then we are discovering here H. So in next, again in here, what happened in this iteration, H doesn't have any other adjacent vertices. So so there is no adjacent vertex. so what happens, the backtrack happens. So this is where the rule two come to picture. So now what happens, the backtrack happens. So backtrack when it happens, so it would be E. So previously call it goes, right? So in E again, we don't have any other adjacent vertex. So we are going back B. So B, B were in the loop. So B has one more adjacent vertex, so F. So now we have, we'll be checking that whether it be discovered or not, not discovered, then again we are calling that, you know, in the re recursive. So now we visited F, so now again we're checking uh, any other edges are there, no edges, so we are backtracking. For B, we are checking any other edges in the for loop again, there is no, then we are going back. So like that A, we have two other edges in. So with the same rule, you know, the nitration, we apply that so that what we do, we visit all the vertices as we did, still the stack is empty. So that means when the stack is empty, that means the records you call all are done, right? So also outputs are, you know, showing that all things are visited. So next, I think I've done with this. Thank you for watching.